Well, hello there, friends. It is Monday, March 29th. Hard to believe that April is in just a few short days. I am trying on some new things that I got in the mail, and uh, I wanna thought I'd share it with you. I thought, let's go ahead and get my Diaries of Karen started but it's also a little bit after 12. I am so hungry, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna share a recipe with you guys depending on which one I wanna share or which one I wanna make and then also something for dinner tonight. Uh, but I wanna jump on first and say welcome back to the Diaries of Karen. Alrighty guys, so look how cute this is. I love this dress. It has a belt and of course I love a dress with pockets. And this one I got a little bit of a larger size. Well, this is an XL because I wanted it to be big enough where you can wear it off the shoulder. And um, and then I got one in another color I'll show here in a minute that I got in a large. And the reason why I did that is because a little, you know, it does have some give here, but I just wanted to be comfortable. I didn't want anything really, really fitting, but I think it is so super cute and you're gonna love the price of this one too. Um, but. I honestly wanted to go back and I wanted to keep ordering more because of the colors. But I stuck just with the two. So you're gonna see me wearing this probably a lot this summer. Super, super comfy and very cute. Okay, and this is the other shade that I got. It's really, really pretty. This one is the first one I got in a medium, not a medium, in a large. And it fits great, um, but I wanted a little bit more room and for the gray one. Um, so this one I have to be wearing a little bit more Spanx with. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd go with the extra large with the gray. So I will list the info for you guys in the description section. Alrighty, now I gotta just decide which one I wanna make. So I might make either these keto pizza egg cups or, hold on, where are they? Tonight I'm gonna make a chicken enchilada casserole, so that should be yummy. And where is the other one I wanted to make? Oh, well, this is gonna be another day. It's a keto French toast, but this is still not it. It's um, like a lemon kind of poppy seed muffin, though. It's a keto. You guys can probably tell I love lemon and I love poppy seeds, so I'm thinking I might make that one because it's gonna be easier to like reheat tomorrow morning and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients together and let's get cooking. Let me know if you guys try this tea. I was grocery shopping yesterday and beach bellini. I'm like, that sounds really yummy. So I'll let you know. I'm gonna heat up a little hot water here. I think of what's all in it. I just went with the name. Oh, with pieces of pineapple and mango. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. I think I'm gonna do it hot though. Um, but I bet you it really is good ice. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll put some ice over it. I need is two and a half cups of blanched almond flour. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything mixed together. I already went ahead and sprayed my little muffin pan, 10 of those, so I need 10 little wells. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to fast motion, and we're gonna make some delicious lemon poppy seed muffins.
really delicious and I actually just chose to keep it warm but I really think I'm gonna love it on nice this summer so yeah something new I just I think I was drawn to the color of the packaging because it was so pretty and springy not even knowing what the flavors were until I just read them to you the pineapple and mango really really good so I'm gonna let the muffins I cook for like 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm gonna get things ready to make the um, enchiladas but they're also without any um, wraps. So it's gonna be chicken and all kinds of delicious flavors in with that, so I hope it's good. So I'm gonna start getting everything ready here in a little bit and I'll show that recipe with you guys too. You, oh, by the way, we have a busy week, you guys. So of course, Easter Sunday is coming up this week. Um, so on tomorrow, Tuesday, Lauren and I are filming and a really fun, I'm so excited about this video. I'm always excited about our videos. Maybe more than you guys are, but I know we get excited. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed part one and part two uh, that we did uh, that I talked in my last vlog because I think they were so much fun to do and edit and um, hope you guys enjoyed those. Uh, let me see, Thursday, actually, my very first vlog was making this recipe with Aunt Missy and my mother-in-law like seven or eight years ago. And it's Fryon or Fellow On. And I'm gonna make that with you guys again this year. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna go over Aunt Missy's on Thursday. And then Saturday, we're gonna make homemade cavatelles. And then Sunday's Easter. So you'll get to see me getting everything ready and um, you know, just setting up the table and that kind of stuff. So it should be a fun week. I'm gonna go enjoy my tea, get some work done, and then get things ready for dinner tonight. a little bite and they were so delicious so if you store them in an airtight container you can leave them in the fridge for quite a few days that's what I plan on doing but I'm gonna go enjoy this with my cup of tea hey guys I'm gonna start making dinner and I realized I forgot to buy enchilada sauce so when you don't have it you google it and figure out how to make it so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go get the ingredients it calls for canola oil flour I'm gonna use almond flour chili powder, tomato sauce, chicken broth, cumin, garlic, onion powder, and salt. I happen to have all that on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this whipped up and then start making dinner. Hello Ramona, I can't shake the simplest Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know to explain to you guys later how I made Mark separate um, without the cauliflower rice, but he so far seems to like it, so I'll let you know what I think of mine. Good morning, friends. It's Tuesday, March 30th. It's gonna be a gorgeous, beautiful, blue sky, sunny day today, 70 degrees, and Lauren and I are gonna head to a local nursery. I happened to see her on Facebook Live yesterday. Her name is Heather, and I, love watching her she is just so enthusiastic and so knowledgeable and i thought to lauren i was on the phone with lauren i said lauren we should do you want to go to Lutz's and i'll call and see if maybe she wants to let us interview her about planting flowers and plants and you know just different things that we should know living in our area of the country and lauren's like well that sounds good so i gave heather a call she was like Absolutely. Uh, so I typed up a few notes, uh, questions that I personally want to ask her. So Lauren's going to get here pretty soon. We're going to take a to-go coffee and head out to the nursery. Um, so, but because it's going to be such a pretty day today, though it's supposed to dip down and get rather cold for three days, <laughs> I'm going to take full advantage of today. So I'm going to get out our cushions. And so that way this afternoon, maybe Lauren and I can work outside. So 
Let's go ahead and get that done so it looks all pretty and springy today, at least for today. So I put out our chair cushions. As you can see, I can't wait to show you guys like I do every year during vlogs how bare it is and how it just fills in so beautifully. Uh, so I just got the things out. And, but I want to actually film this because I want to, when I go to the nursery today, I want to be able to show her and see, you know, what, what, you know, kind of different flower ideas that she has, even though I do use the same staple ones every year, which I find are really easy and you don't have to do much to them. And that's really the goal. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to enjoy this day. By the way, did you guys know we have another house going up? Look right there. So, a lot of activity going on in the neighborhood. In, um, of the trip today that Laura and I went on and I learned so much from being uh, at Lutz's today and Heather was so so amazing I cannot wait for you guys to see the video Laura and I sat on the patio and I reheated some leftover dinner did I talk about dinner yet you guys dinner last night was so delicious Mark even said Karen this tastes like authentic Mexican and I'll tell you why I think because I made the homemade enchilada sauce, I think that was key, had fresh cilantro on there. So we had leftovers, so Lauren and I had it for lunch. Just, oh my gosh, this is so good. So we had that and had such a fun day sitting outside. All right, so I'm getting dinner ready. I've got my shrimp thawing out. So basically what I'm gonna put in here, I already put in here, two tablespoons of avocado oil, a half a cup of tequila. Um, we're gonna put the zest and the juice of one lime some chili powder, some fresh garlic. Uh, let's see what else we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the shrimp in and then we're going to cover it and put it in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and put these on, um, the shrimp on some skewers. Did I show you guys my pretty little flowers I have here? I think this looks so pretty. Love spring. <laughs> I'm gonna do some grilled eggplant. So I put some salt on here. I'm gonna let them sweat a little bit. Then we have a mixture of olive oil and oregano, parsley, and garlic, salt and pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and tap these off a little bit from the moisture. Add them to this mix. Put them on the grill for six minutes on each side and put them back into this mix. It should be really delicious. Took the shrimp out and now we got the marmalade here um, after it was in the fridge for 15 minutes to a half an hour. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just add two tablespoons of butter to this to thicken this up a little bit while the shrimp is on the grill and the eggplant. Right on the patio. Looks really good. Oh, hello friends, happy Wednesday. It's March 31st. I have just been doing some work this morning and some editing and Lauren called me and she said, oh my gosh, Karen, some of our pieces for a boutique came in. She goes, when I come and pick them up, you know, cause I pick up the ones obviously, cause Lauren and I always like to order extras for ourselves. Just wait till you see these. I'm like, I'm on my way. <laughs> so I am going to um, just try, take Archie out real quick and I'm gonna head over to her house and pick those up and then come back and do some work. And then I was gonna make something like a warmer kind of a soup or something tonight because the temperature is just dropping. I think like I said with, to you guys yesterday, like it's gonna be three days of like sort of cold weather before it goes back up again. Mark might just be pulling in. Uh, so, but I forgot to buy everything I needed for it. So I think we're just gonna have like hot sausage, peppers and onions, and maybe some vegetable or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and run to Lauren's uh, get those things and I'll show you. Well, I guess, yeah, these are going to be out there. So I will show you them when I get back. I got back from Lauren's. So I want to show you guys. Okay, so first of all, check out our tennis necklace. You guys always say to me, where do you, where'd you get that necklace? And that's the one I get from Lily Clasp. And so Lauren and I wanted to have something sort of similar that, you know, if you guys wanted to have something like that, less expensive um, is ours. And you guys, it's so pretty. I hope it's picking up the gorgeous shimmer of it. Let me see, is it, you see it? Hold on, I, don't, I can't tell, hold on. 
Let me look in the mirror over here to make sure I'm showing you the right side. Okay, here we go. Here we go, right here. See it? Our tennis necklace. Oh my gosh, I love, this is to me the perfect length. And then I can wear it with my Nona necklace that I wear all the time, so it's perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled with it. Okay, so if you notice, I've got two different earrings on. So this earring here has a chain with it. So it is a hoop with this chain that hangs. So gorgeous and so different. And then this one here, look at this. I love it. The style of it, it's like a rectangle. Uh, I am so delighted to see these in person, even more beautiful. We did a lot of research on this company. And then one other one that I have something similar, um, almost identical. So I'm not gonna put them on because we're going to be obviously adding these pair and that we'll be selling these ones. Lorna and I always do normally take one of everything, each of us that we have in our boutique or if it's a style that's either too petite or too like oversized then i'll keep one and she'll keep the other you know what i mean so that's what we normally do but look at this pair you guys these are so pretty they're like chain links from like a bracelet but they're earrings and i like i said i have a pair almost identical to these so that's why we're going to go ahead and just put mine that i would normally keep for me but we're going to go ahead and put these on our site with two others i think we only have three of these ones they were limited because these are a high sell and they are selling uh so that is what's so far going into the boutique oh did i show you guys yesterday one more thing hold on these are our two orchids sunglasses um these are called the audrey and look at the and look at the cool box that comes in you guys look at how sharp that is so gorgeous amazing quality i love them i love the tortoise shell so beautiful uh so we've got some exciting accessories wait till you guys see the new clothes we have coming i'm so excited so excited you guys you're gonna love these things but we are just so excited because you guys love when we share with you what we're wearing you're always asking so that's why we are really happy to be able to bring you some beautiful things in our two orchids boutique okay i'm gonna get to work get a big glass of water maybe i might even have some greens or my collagen or something i just i need a little bit more energy because i had a lot of work to do today but i wanted to jump on and show you i was so excited when i got home from lauren making my hot peppers with um not hot peppers i'm making my hot sausage with peppers and onions and i love the vibrant colors of the different peppers oh my gosh you guys it smells so good Okay, a little bit of a little dinner here. Hot sausage with peppers and onions and some Brussels sprouts. Well, you guys, I was doing something. Actually, I was doing dishes and Mark goes, hey, listen, I've got some time. I got to get on a call. He goes, do you want me to help you carry your fall, winter stuff upstairs and your spring, summer stuff downstairs? I'm like, huh, I'm really not in a mood, but because, you know, you're offering to help. Sure. So myself a rosé and let me tell you guys this was the smartest thing to do and it saved us so much time and anyway let me show you all right so first of all this is a pile of all the stuff i'm giving to goodwill this is my rack and this is what i piled all my winter fall stuff on the same rack it was filled to the gills and we willed it to the steps, our basement, I mean our basement, our upstairs steps. Then Mark and I just grabbed a bunch and then we put it in the, the upstairs closets of the girls' rooms that are, of course, not living at home anymore. And so I'm trying to organize, which I'm now I'm going to organize by color code. Of course, I kept all my jeans, some tops, and I like cardigans because I get chilly. You know, my jean jackets and some like other shirts. So I got to really organize this. I started putting in some of my dresses, but... When I was looking at this, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's some things I just haven't even looked at in years. So that's why it's that pile on the floor over there. But like I'm getting a lot accomplished and I would not have done this if Mark wasn't kind enough to say, hey, I have some time. You want some help? I'm making homemade Cheez-Its. You just get some cheddar cheese slices, cut it into four pieces, put a little hole in the center, put a little sea salt, and 275 for about 20 25 minutes good morning friends today is april 1st thursday 
I've already been out of the house, back in the house. I ran over to Jody's to uh, just stay in the house with baby Hallie uh, while she went to go get her dog Gus from his grooming. And then I'm back home again. And then now I'm heading over to Aunt Missy's house to make our uh, family tradition recipe, the fry on that I've told you guys about before. And so I'm just finishing putting on my jewelry and then I'm gonna head on over. And did you guys see this ring, by the way? Look at that. I'll tell you more about that later. I love sharing things with you guys. I always have so much fun. Okay, so I've got bracelets, earrings, necklace, shoes, perfume. Need some perfume. Head over to Aunt Missy's and get baking. I'm excited. Um, Mark and I then have a meeting with our financial guy later. It's Thursday, Thursday, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do for that today. <laughs> Can you guys believe it's snowing today? Not bad, but we got a little light dusting. Oh, I shouldn't have sprayed that with my jewelry on. A little light dusting. Uh, which one's this? Jimmy Choo, putting that on today. Um, yeah, a little light dusting today. So, uh, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be fine. A little bit chilly maybe tomorrow. Today only in the 30s, tomorrow like in the 40s, and then back up in the 60s, uh, Saturday and Sunday, which is good. Uh, at least for Sunday, and then Monday, like next week, I think, in the high 60s, maybe close to 70, so I'm happy about that. All right, you guys, it is past 10 o'clock. I need to get over Aunt Missy's, and I'm gonna bring the camera, and just so weird because my very first vlog was exactly this time, I think seven or eight years ago. I can't remember how. I can remember what year that is. And uh, so here we are again. I can't wait to uh, share this recipe with you guys. It sort of just means, well, obviously Easter's coming because we always do this. Well, we used to do it on Friday until we realized you can eat meat on Friday. So now we make it on Holy Thursday. And it's just something that we do uh, the week of Easter. And it's always so good. And the guys come over, you know, our husbands, and they all come for lunch. And it's like it's just a family thing that we love doing. So let me head on over. Guys, over Aunt Missy's. Here's the hot sausage. We got the dough. We got the spinach. So me and my mother-in-law are going to be rolling out the dough. Hers is always more beautiful than mine, but I try. Say hi, Aunt Miss. Hi, hi. Say hello, hello. So here we are. You guys, you know, my very first video that I did for these, all of our friends here, um, was like, I don't know, seven years ago? And it was here doing this. Really? So here we are. We have an aged a bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get rolling. And these are the hot sausage. These ones are done. I think this one is a um, spinach. Spinach with mono cheese and some red crushed peppers. So the ones that just came out of the oven. So hot sausage, you can see sausage. These ones we put uh, spinach with uh, mono cheese and some little crushed red pepper. And we got some potatoes with onions and peppers as well coming out. We've got 28 in all. All right, I am home. I smell like a fellow Juan right now. <laughs> it was really good. Cheated on my keto today because, I mean, how can you not when you're eating this delicious dish i don't dish what do you want to call it um okay let me explain they're like they look like they could be i'm sure you guys saw the footage like a kind of calzone if you guys know what that is but um i think i explained like one of them has hot sausage inside the other one has sliced thin thinly sliced potatoes with sauteed peppers and onions and then the third one has sauteed spinach with uh, garlic, fresh Romano cheese, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Really good. Um, but I came home and I'm really excited about this and I wanted to share it with you. So one of our fabulous subscribers, Sue, Sue, thank you so much. She saw this Bliss mug array done and she sent it to me. I am so excited, I couldn't wait. When I got home today and I saw this on my front porch, I knew it had to be the gift from Sue. So it's my word of the year, if you guys don't know, bliss. So I'm making a yummy cup of coffee. And then I'm gonna have one of my keto brownies that I made yesterday um, while I do some orchid work. Uh, so, Sue, thank you again. I love my mug. Oh my God, this is so. Oh, did I show you my brownies? I can't remember if I showed you the brownies that I made yesterday. And then Aunt Missy, um, we're gonna have Easter here. And she didn't want all the, um, she always puts out like um, M&Ms and 
little Easter treats and she's like, I don't really want them around my house because I don't want to eat them. Can I give them to you and you can just use them? Um, cause Mark and I are going to have Easter here. So she gave them to me and I'm going to have to hide all of them because I, this is my biggest weakness. <laughs> what else did she get? All these little eggs and oh, the best right here. You guys is hold on milk, chocolate, potato chips. They're so good. So I'm going to hide it. And I'll put it out for Easter day dinner. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to even look at it. I'm going to go finish my coffee. Oh, I was going to show you my brownies. So these are the brownies. Now you can also get a little bit of um, Swerve Confectioner sugar and sprinkle it on top, which I probably should have done. No, Archie cannot have brown. I'm going to have one of these in my coffee and I'll check back in. Friday. Got my lovely Bliss mug. I'm going to make another cup of coffee. I am going to try to get out the door before 10 o'clock because the local nursery, Fodor's, she has her first bunch of spring florals and fresh blooms. And I want to get some for Easter. Uh, so I know she opens at 10 and I know she will sell out because she always does. But look what we have outside. All right. Do you guys see that? We've got a little bit of snow on our outdoor furniture. So it's gonna be a high of like in the 40s today, but it's gonna get up into the high 60s and Easter Sunday it should be 67. So I plan on, I really wanna have, you know, this table outside too, um, just, you know, for people to hang out. We have a small amount of us, but just so we can sit outside. So hopefully this is all gonna be gone. I put all the cushions. So hopefully all that will disappear and it will warm up so I can, um, we can enjoy being outside. Um, just to sit outside, that's what I wanna do. I wanna be outside. So uh, that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and make another cup of coffee. I've got, oh, I've got about 25 minutes or so before I have to head out because I wanna be one of the first ones there because I wanna make sure I get my tulips. I like to get flowers for my mom and my mother-in-law too. So uh, I'm gonna get all that accomplished this morning and then I am going to get stuff to make my sauce for tomorrow. And I've got my call with my little mentor group, uh, my lovely ladies at one o'clock. So I got a busy day. I'll share this with you guys. I wanted to a few blog, vlogs ago. Remember the sweet woman that my mom lives in the same place as my mom that wrote a book? Uh, Mary Ellis, well she wrote a second book and it's called The Pond's Reflection, Finding Franny. And I mean, I think this is just remarkable. Uh, it, and again, it's one of those things where you're never too old to follow your dreams and your passion. Book number two, so I wanted to show you guys. I will list this for you. Um, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I think my mom read it. And uh, so it's a beautiful story and I wanted to share this with you. I did not want to forget. I had this literally sitting on my bookshelf and I just happened to look over. I'm like, I gotta share that before I forget because uh, Mary Ellis is a, a special woman and my mom loves her and the fact that she's an author and living her best life and her dreams. And I think she's, well, maybe in her 80s. So God bless her. All right, you guys, I got my flowers. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, I think she's gonna sell out truly like within the next half an hour and she just opened. They are all so beautiful. Guys, I got a regatta pie, my meatball mix, some fontanella cheese, some delicious hot peppers and some olives, Genoa salami, some delicious provolone and my stuff to make sauce. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at how gorgeous my flowers look I got from Fodor's. Um, so I'm actually, I just put them in water. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make them, you know, I think I'm going to put them a little bit together so I can have a little bit of purple, some of the pink, but I wanted to get them in water. I just got off my zoom call with my beautiful ladies that I love, um, chatting with, we try to meet every Friday and I just got off the call with them. So hi everybody, Teresa, Lori, Sue, 
and Marilyn and Lisa and Christina. Um, we had so much fun on our call, Michelle. We had a great time on our call today and I just loved chatting with all of you. Uh, we talked anything from lashes to the housewives and <laughs> our businesses and following your passion. Um, we were talking about everything and it was just some food. It was a lot of fun. I love the girls so much. I just truly uh, love connecting with all of them. They're just remarkable women. Um, so I know my kitchen is a disaster zone. You guys, I literally came home through everything in the fridge and still got stuff laying around but i wanted to show you look at the scenery i have on my tv in my office it's so pretty this is the kind of stuff i love to do it just put spring scenery on my tv in the office which i got to get this all cleaned and organized it's an absolute mess oh i got some lilies from my mom and mother-in-law picked them up some easter lilies so look at the little bunnies <laughs> And then I share with you guys the regatta pie. I'm gonna be totally off my keto. This is just not good. My flowers here are looking really pretty. And I've got all my stuff for my sauce. And then this is some of the wine. This dark horse rosé is actually really good. I love the Vander Vanderpump rosé. I'm back on that kick again. Um, I love the 19 Crimes. I love the Snoop Dogg. It's really good. Oops. And I have no idea. Mark grabbed this one, so I'm not sure what this is. So we'll give this one a try. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head out to dinner um, to a local restaurant. Just grab a bite to eat real quick. Two, it's called Alberini, so we're looking forward to it. I haven't been there in a while. It is about 7 o'clock Saturday night. I look like a complete ragamuffin. I have been cooking sauce all day today and meatballs and cleaning uh, we had Allie and Jacob here and Zachary and my grand puppy <laughs> and so we had such a fun day my mom spent a few hours here my mother-in-law so it's just been a day of family I wanted to take it all in and enjoy spending time with them never even thought once to bring out the camera I apologize but I wanted to jump on and say hello because I'll be filming tomorrow Easter Sunday but I want to show you guys how beautiful my flowers are looking that I bought yesterday. I just keep staring at them and I keep posting pictures on Instagram because they're just so beautiful. Let me show you. Day of cooking and cleaning all day calls for a nice glass of rosé. I'm gonna take Archie out. I'm gonna chill out and enjoy the rest of the evening. And then I will share our tablescape, our menu, uh, and the food and all that, and just celebrating um, the resurrection tomorrow, a uh, special day. And uh, I'm just look, looking forward to having some family over and just spend some time together and sharing that with all of you. We'll see you in the morning. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain, beauty in the mundane. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now, there's something in the air, and a sparkly shimmer. about five or six days late uh, but it's a gorgeous day today it's going to be a high of 68 blue skies 
and it's just a glorious day to celebrate and uh, I'm looking forward to having some family over. Uh, we are going to have a delicious menu, homemade cavatellas, my homemade sauce I made yesterday, ham, uh, this corn dish, and we're gonna have deviled eggs and some garlic bread. Um, oh, of course, you guys saw earlier my Easter uh, veggie and cheese and cracker tray, um, some fellow wan, and of course some Easter treats and a lot of Easter desserts. But let me show you my table. I didn't go all out. It's just something very simple. It's cute, it's pretty. Got the, I think the flowers of course are the main attraction, but I'll show you. And we got our stuff outside on the patio. It's just perfect. So here is the table. I've got my mom's china. Of course, look at how gorgeous the flowers look. Got some little Easter treats, chocolate covered chips, my favorite trying to stay away from those and uh, then I'll show you guys outside how pretty everything looks on the patio seating area flowers out here and of course we brought the TV out today golf, excuse me Mark has some golf on out here but it uh, looks really pretty and again like I said a gorgeous gorgeous day today I share my Easter outfit this is a Margaret Joseph's dress you guys remember the housewives of New Jersey um, her line Kristen from a50 blues bought this was it or last year or the year before oh, the year before yes and I love this dress and I just got some cute little flats on um, just because I want to be comfortable but it's so pretty and I love this outfit. And oh, by the way, I put that fake kind of tan that gives you, it's called like that bling. What was it called? I'll have to put it in the description section. Lauren and I talked about it twice and it gave my legs a really pretty color because they were so pasty white, so it was perfect. Uh, but here's my Easter outfit. Friends, family just left. We had such a blessed day. It was just so wonderful to be spending time with family. Uh, it's six. Oh, seven o'clock. Everything's cleaned up. Um, I just got my comfy loungers on. I'm gonna chill out and rest, but I really enjoyed having you guys bringing the camera out this week. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you and your families are, uh, are blessed, had a wonderful holiday, and uh, are safe and uh, are well. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again, you guys. Love you all so much. Goodbye.